Welcome to Educational World. Welcome to another practical series on electricity. Now I'll be reading the instructions for this question. You have been provided with a resistance box, a voltmeter, a key, a battery, and other necessary materials. Connect the circuit as shown in the diagram above. With the key closed, read and record the voltmeter reading V subscript O. Set the resistance R in the resistance box equal to 1 ohms. Close the key, read and record the potential difference V on the voltmeter. Evaluate the inverse of R and the inverse of V. Repeat the procedure for 5 other values of R which are 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 ohms respectively. Tabulate your readings. Plot the graph of the inverse of V on the vertical axis and R inverse on the horizontal axis. Determine the slope of the graph and the intercept C on the vertical axis. Evaluate the inverse of C and state two precautions taken to obtain accurate results. For us to be able to tackle this problem effectively, we have to read and record the value of the EMF of the battery provided. Assuming I have gotten the value of the EMF of my battery, which is 2.5 volts. Now let's go ahead and break down the problem. Record the formula E is equal to I, open bracket, the big R plus small r, where E is the EMF, I is the current in the circuit, R is the external resistance, and the small r is the internal resistance of the battery. We need to perform only the first practical for the first values in order for us to get the necessary information required to dismantle this practical. Since I don't have any apparatus, I will get the first values from my friends who have actually performed it. Now let's say that when the resistance box is equal to 1 ohm, the potential difference on the voltmeter is 1.8 volts. What we have to do next is to calculate the current flowing in the circuit. From the formula V is equal to IR, current is equal to voltage over resistance and putting in the values, current in the circuit is 1.8 amperes. There is something very important I want you to note. Any practical on electricity that has to do with resistors always hinges on a key factor which is the internal resistance of the battery. So we have to find the internal resistance of the battery. To do so, we have to recall the formula again. E is equal to I open bracket big R plus small r. Substituting the values of E, I and R into the formula above, we have that 2.5 is equal to 1.8 open bracket 1 ohm plus small r and simplifying everything, we'll be left with the fact that the internal resistance R is equal to 0 0.39 ohms. Our table of values now becomes when R is equal to 1 ohm, the voltage is 1.8 volts, the inverse of the resistance is 1 per ohm, and the inverse of the voltage is 0 0.556 per volts. So now when we make the resistance in the resistance box to be 2 ohms, with our formula, as you can see, the value of R there is now 2 ohm. And we will substitute these values in the equation above, which will leave us with 2.5 is equal to current open bracket 2 plus 0 0.39. And simplifying everything, we will have that current in the circuit is equal to 1.05 amperes. So we know that voltage is equal to current times resistance. Hence, the potential difference in volts across the resistance pulse is 1.05 times 2, which is equal to 2.1 volts. So we'll go ahead and compute our table of values. So we now have that when R is equal to 2 ohms, voltage is equal to 2.1 volts. The inverse of the 
resistance is equal to 0.5 per ohm and the inverse of voltage is equal to 0.476 per volt. Now when we set the resistance in the resistance box to 3 ohms, we will now substitute into our formula the following values. So the equation now becomes 2.5 is equal to the current open bracket 3 ohms plus 0.39 ohms. Simplifying everything which leaves us a current is now equal to 0.74 amperes. Recall that voltage drop is equal to current times resistance. So the potential difference across the resistance box is now equal to the current which is 0.74 times 3 which is now 2.22 volts. Then we we'll move straight to computing our table of values which now become when R is equal to 3 ohm, the voltage is equal to 2.22 volts. The inverse of the resistance is equal to 0.33 per ohm and the inverse of the voltage is equal to 0.450 per volts. So when we set the resistance in the resistance box to be 4 ohm, also with our formula and substituting the values of those parameters into the equation above, we will now have that E, which is 2.5 volts, is equal to the current open bracket 4 ohms plus 0.39 ohm. And simplifying for the current, this says that current is equal to 2.5 over 4.39, which gives us that current is equal to 0.56 amperes. And to solve for the voltage drop across the resistance bus, we now have that voltage is equal to 0.56 times 4, which is equal to 2.28 volts. Then we now go ahead to compute our table of values. So we now say that when R is equal to 4 ohms, the voltage is equal to 2.28 volts. The inverse of the resistance is equal to 0.25 per ohm, and the inverse of the voltage is equal to 0.439 per volts. Okay, so when the resistance in the, resi in the resistance box is equal to 5 ohm, now substituting the values into the equation leaves us that 2.5 is equal to the current open bracket 5 ohm plus 0.39 ohm. And simplifying for the current, we have that current is equal to 0.46 ampere. And we have to solve for the voltage drop at the resistance box which gives us that the voltage drop is equal to current times resistance which is equal to 0.46 times 5 ohm which leaves us with 2.28 volts. So computing our table of values, we now have that when the resistance is 5.0 ohm, the voltage is 2.32 volts and the inverse of the resistance is 0.20 per ohm and the inverse of the voltage is 0.431 per volt. Okay, now that leaves us with when the resistance in the resistance box has been set to 6 ohm, then we substitute everything in our equation above, which leaves us with 2.5, which is EMF, is equal to current open bracket to 6 ohm plus. 0.39 ohm okay so we simplify for the current which now gives us that current is equal to 0.39 ampere now we have to solve for the potential difference across the resistance box and it's equal to 0.39 ampere times 6 ohm which is equal to 2.34 volts so we also compute our table of values. We now have that when the resistance is 6 ohm, the voltage is equal to 2.34 volts. The inverse of the resistance is equal to 0.17 per ohm. And the inverse of the voltage is equal to 0.427 per volts. So we go to the graph plotting. We have our 
table of values. Now recall that our table of values is supposed to have uniform decimal placement. Okay, so you can see that the decimal values are uniform in each column. So this is the graph of the inverse of V against the inverse of R. As you can see, this is a straight line graph, very straight. To solve for the slope, we do change in the vertical axis all over change in the horizontal axis. So taking two points in the vertical axis, which are 0 0.556 minus 0 0.476, all over corresponding points in the horizontal axis, which are 1 minus 0 0.50. So simplifying everything leaves us that the slope is equal to 0 0.16 ohm per volt. The intercept C on the vertical axis is 0 0.427 per volt. So solving for 1 all over the intercept which is equal to 1 all over 0 0.427 will be left with 2.34 volts.